Hey, what's up, Rise of Kingdoms? It's Bye Bye here. So, <laughs> I hope you guys uh, been uh, enjoying some of the videos I made recently uh, about Grand Yu. Um, so, uh, what I'm trying to do right now is that I want to do a series of video for one commander at a time. So, right now, I'm just focusing doing a lot of like videos for Grand, like who are some of the best commander pairing for him. And who are some of the possible commander pairing for him as well as uh, the pro and cons. Uh, so there are so many commanders that can be paired with Gwen. Uh, that is the reason why there are going to be a few more videos about him. Okay. Uh, so today's video is also about Gwen as well. Um, so in today's videos, uh, I'm, I want to talk about Leo. Okay. So I am a big fan of Leo. Right? I think Leo is a very, very popular, very famous um heroes in his story right um i think a lot of people like him but is he worth to invest in still or like should you be looking at uh some other option right i, I personally got him to five five three five right because i mean one thing is that i love leo i mean leo it looked badass uh, but there's something about him and we'll talk about it today so uh, so Leo can be a very a pretty decent pair for for Gwen, okay? But um, today we got compare Gwen Leo with another kind of like more like a free to play friendly option, which is Gwen and Char Mattel, okay? Um, so Gwen and Char, okay, right? So uh, one of the reason I'm not comparing uh, Gwen Alex with Gwen Leo because uh, I want to get you guys a cheaper option that you can. You can use you can you can use and not like as a more expensive option okay so uh, let's go into the side by side test um that i made for you guys here all right so same thing right uh grand primary uh all the all the equipment i'm using in the uh, in the test are the same um so on the left hand side we have a grand and traumatel which is a free to play option and on the right hand side we have a grand leo uh, as I show you guys in at the beginning of the video is that my Leo is not expertise. He like a five five three five uh, five three five five three five. Okay, um, so even though he's not expertise, but like his expertise is not really, really like a big like a huge doesn't have like a huge impact when it comes to like open field fighting, and. Um, and yes, even though I'm missing two skill, right? So it, it will definitely like a, it's not like a hundred percent accurate test comparison. One time, one side I have a trauma tell expertise, the other side I have a Leo not expertise, but uh, I I I I will make up for it. Um, but like the chain is not gonna be like a huge huge difference, okay? Um, so let's go and take a look here. All right. So right now we got uh, on the right hand side. I think Grand Leo uh, is doing pretty good in terms of DPS, um, taking down that uh, Constantine to yellow HP already. I think I think the Constantine and Richard uh, target on the right hand side um, went down a little bit faster than Grand Cho. So uh, Leo has that thirty percent rage uh, engine, right? Like you gain thirty percent rage. Uh, 30% rage faster, right? Um, which which help Grand casting the skill more often. Uh, Leo also have like a small AOE skill damage as well, which can help taking down some of the uh, merge a little bit faster. Um, so as you can see right now, it's still looking pretty even, right? So here we have a Traumatel with a museum buff, right? So if it was before the museum buff, uh, Grand Leo is definitely better than Grand and Charm Mattel. But like after the muse museum buff was introduced a uh, few months ago, uh, now I do believe that Grand and Charm Mattel can perform just as good as Grand Leo. And there are some others like pros about Grand and Charm Mattel that you might consider use them over Leo. Right? So one thing is that Leo you had to um, you have to win a might mightiest governor event or you have to spend your universal sculpture to max them uh, to max him uh, on the other hand traumatel is just free to play you can get him from golden chess um, it's a lot more like, accessible for a lot of free to play player okay 
And if you're looking at the outcome of the battle uh, of the battle right here, right, I think uh, Gwen and Chor perform just as good as Gwen Leo. Even though my Leo is not uh, expertise, uh, I think if my Leo is expertise, he will perform slightly better. And one of his skills is that uh, the, the third skill that I have on him is when he below 50%, which is it doesn't trigger right away, right? So he has to be below 50% for that skill to trigger, so it is fine. Um, but uh, I can still tell that I think Grand Leo is slightly better in terms of DPS, right? Uh, Leo does have a like a, his four skill uh, increase uh, the overall damage of the the marsh. Uh, could go up to like I think forty percent, sixty percent. Let me double check real quick here. Um, so Leo can went up to um forty percent. Okay, he could, if he got if you got lucky, uh, he can stack up to like forty percent damage. Uh, so right now we got that um we got that Constantine and Richard die right, and as you can see right here, Grand Leo is taking down that Elsid right. So in terms of DPS, uh, Guan Leo is slightly better in terms of DPS when it comes to like open field fight, like big murder ball fight. But uh, the issue that I have with Leo is that he's slow, right? Uh, one of the reasons why you guys don't see me using Leo a lot nowadays. Um, same go for like KVK or like Ark or Cyrus. I think that is when you're going to need a lot of like mobility. And that is, where, that is what Leo is lacking. And I definitely hope that uh, when they introduce the next the next batch of museum buff, if Leo is included, I hope they give him a little bit more Mars speed bonus. Uh, I would prefer Traumatel over Leo is be just because of that thirty percent uh, Mars speed bonus, twenty percent right, a uh, twenty percent Mars speed bonus increase for infantry. Right, I can see right here. Um, so like even though like even though Char, uh, even though Grand and Traumatel um slightly weaker in terms of like DPS, but they are faster and they have a lot more usage um either in Ark of Osiris or in KVK. Sometimes you have to chase after the target as well. Trust me, when I, when I'm telling you that even in a murder ball fight, right? Even in a murder ball fight situation, um, it doesn't guarantee you that you can hit on the target, right? Just because you're hitting on the target at one moment doesn't mean that target just gonna stay there and letting you hit on on him. Uh, the target will always move. And sometimes, if you don't have that Mars speed bonus that you need, uh, a lot of time you're going to, you, you'll be losing that contact to the target and that and then you cannot cast your skill, you cannot deal any, any damage because you, you, you're not fast enough because the target you wanna hit is faster than you, right? So that is a one and only issue that I have with Leo. Um, but if you if you're talking about like just like stay and fight to the death, then Grand Leo is definitely a better choice than Grand Traumatel. But again, you gotta invest on Leo, okay? Uh, which can cost you like arms and legs, okay? Especially for a lot of free-to-play or low spender player. Um, or like someone who just started out the game, you definitely want to save your, your universal sculpture. Right. I mean Leo is badass. I love how he's look. I love how he how, how his skill work on the battlefield. But he just he's just a bit slow for me. And so far I haven't used him a lot. Uh if you're looking at the kill boy, I think the kill point on him I only got like fifteen million kills. Uh compared to my Gwen. I think my Gwen So Gwen Leo was introduced at the same time, right? So my Gwen is forty one million kills, so which is double. More than double the kills that I got on Leo. Yeah. Um, like, uh, like, I, like, if, if Leo could have get like 15% or like 20% Mario speed increase for infantry, I think he, I would def, I would definitely use him over Trauma Tell. But for now, um, just because of that Mario speed bonus that uh, Trauma Tell provide, it, it just, it just a lot more it just can bring a lot more um it, it can work in a lot of situation for me than for me to bring grand leo uh but like if you are in like um i think there are a, a new kvk where there's like a blockage sy system right when you have to stay back and fight to the death 
and you can just like run back and forth, back and forth. I think in that in that kind of KVK, I think Wan Liel might work better. Uh, but again, I mean like the 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 difference is very very minimal, right? Uh, the difference between Wan Chor and Wan Liel is very very minimal. Um, and and to be honest, it's really really not worth it to invest a universal sculpture on Liel nowadays. Unless he going to get like a pretty decent like you know like uh, power up when they introduce the next uh, museum buff, right? Um, so that is it for Guan and Leo versus Guan Traumatel. Like even though I do believe that Guan Leo has slightly better in terms of DPS because Leo has that forty percent damage increase up to forty percent damage increase. Uh, cast the rage fast. Uh, cast the a re faster rage uh, re regeneration so like faster time to cast your active skill here oh it is 15 percent only uh and like leo worked pretty well with uh leo worked pretty well with Gwen, but again i mean like I, I just don't think it is worth it for you guys to dump your universal sculpture on him uh, nowadays um there could be few few other options you might consider like um, so today, I just want to talk about Leo. Uh, I think for the future video, I will definitely talk about uh, who else could you pair with Gwen. Could be either a Mermet. Well, I think Mermet is another option that very, very viable. And YSG as well. Or maybe even Aetherflat, okay? So I have a, a couple more videos coming. Uh, I have a little bit, I have like a couple more like testing video coming for Gwen. So stay tuned. Uh, and you can see for yourself uh, how good they are uh, in terms of like motor ball fight. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.